Do EMTs need to know medical terminology? Yes, if we want to be treated as medical professionals, we need to speak the language of medicine. But it's like learning a whole different language. Well, yes, it's ancient Greek and Latin. The words can appear long and difficult to pronounce, but with practice, you will learn them, and we will be using them throughout the semester. Don't get frustrated when you first look at the word and you don't understand what it means. Break it into smaller elements. We use the same rules when we have large words in English. We look for the, the elements that we know and understand, and then we can deduce based on the information in front or behind it what the word is trying to convey. So let's start at the beginning with the prefix. The prefix I consider I think of it more like an adjective. It describes a main topic. It can describe its position, its state, its, uh, the number such as a uni, bi, or tricycle, as well as speed. These are just some examples of what a prefix can convey about the word root. The word root is the main topic. It's the noun that you're talking about. A Bible is a good book. Agriculture, f center, federalism, feminism, uh, arachno, well, spiders. Ugh. A lot of people have a fear of spiders, also known as arachnophobia. There's an O in there, and that's a combining vowel that links two or more root words together, such as pyromaniac, someone who is crazy for fire, cardiopulmonary, pneumothorax, that is air in the chest cavity or an electrocardiogram. At the end, we have the suffix, and this is similar to the verb because this is the action or condition of the main root. Itis is going to be an inflammation, or oma could be a cancer or a tumorous mass. <sighs> Wait, why do I have, how do you eat an elephant? Well, I've heard this riddle before. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And you have to think about learning this entire language of medicine in a similar manner. You need to, number one, Learn in short sessions so you don't get the words confused. Study often and regularly, and most importantly, make it fun and interesting. I created a study stack with 498 flashcards of medical terminology. You can find it at this link, and you can play games, matching games, crossword puzzles, take tests, the, instead of going to your Facebook page 12 times a day, turn this on for 10 minutes a day and you'll be surprised how quickly you can pick this information up. Thank you very much. Good luck.